hello everybody how is it going welcome to another playlist of learning python from scratch in 2019 after completing uh, some of the basics of php and advanced php php spatials learning laravel and some topics on web securities i decided to start a brand new playlist uh, in the topic of learning python from scratch so why python and why i decided python actually i had received lots of requests from my friends and even some of my subscribers that uh, python is now trending as we are moving towards the topic of like uh, data science and machine learning and, and artificial intelligence and all these systems are tightly uh, integrated or uh, let's say workable through python and python is that's why trending day by day and we can see that and though python is newer in comparison to php java and other programming languages that are popular in the in the world and these days but we can see though python is new it has been widely used by most of the developers for advanced stuffs and the training stuffs like uh, in it information technologies these days like data science and machine learning and they prefer python as and the most preferred language and just to demonstrate you quickly i generally follow google trends so if you just search for google trends and compare the some of the uh, popular programming language in the modern context for example let me just search for python or let's say php and you can just choose and since we are uh, specific about the prob programming language so i just say php programming language and it will give me some kind of graphs uh, like how many people are interested uh, in PHP so we can see there is some graph now let us compare PHP with uh, let's say Java Java is programming language and we can see that Java is far above PHP regarding the usage and interest of developers uh, in comparison to PHP now let us add one more let's say dot net uh, since dot uh, net uh, it is a programming language but it is more uh, considered as software so we don't have programming language option over here we have dot net framework which is a software so let me just add that we can still see that java is leading both php and dot net now let us add python as programming language and the green one which is python you can see it it exceeds all of the programming languages that are currently being used in the world and you can see that it is trending day by day and it is keep, it is keeping on increasing the java java before the python java until date it is widely used and even used for data science and machine learning but these days though python being a fresh uh, or a new newer let's say programming language it is trending day by day and the interest of a python is increasing with time and it will keep on increasing and the reason why developers are preferring uh, python framework is because it is like versatile we can use it for uh, web development we can use it for uh, let's say desktop development desktop softwares we can even use it for uh, data science and machine learning and lot of other stuffs. Besides that, the scripts that are uh, used for automations, uh, like we want something to be done automatically, like automated scripts and bots, they are easily handled by Python. Similarly, we can also integrate Python uh, easily with its inbuilt libraries and developed libraries with the uh, like microprocessors like Raspberry Pi, which is used for IoT projects and intelligent like uh, machine learning uh, type of system and we already have huge libraries for such stuffs we already have like in most of the programming language we need to search for the libraries and we doubt if we can trust the third party libraries or not but in case of python we already have official libraries that are used for writing automation scripts that are used for write, uh, writing codes for data science for machine learning for IoT based projects for the microprocessors like Raspberry Pi and all those. So we can see that uh, because of its huge libraries 
and its community we can see that the developers are these days uh, inclining towards python programming language in comparison to others <clears throat> besides that the simplicity of the python is so good uh, that uh, people are preferring uh, to use python than other in the learning way the learning mechanism of python is uh, quite easier in comparison to others because uh, it use uh, the the programming syntax is the way we talk like for example we have in other programming languages we have to memorize lots of uh, like complex syntax and uh, machine type of syntax code type of syntax but in in python we will gradually learn that the syntax is really easy and it is quite easy to understand because it is in the way we talk we write so even a uh, if you are a beginner, if you haven't learned any programming languages before, Python will be a very good place to start with because of, of, the, of its simplicity in syntax. <coughs> and the last uh, but uh, the, one of the most important point is that Python is supported in almost all of the platforms, whether you be you are working on Mac, you are working on Linux, you are working on uh, let's say Windows or even other microprocessors and it can be used on any platforms easily and <clears throat> so that was the basic introduction of Python and we'll be focusing on the basics of Python in this playlist like uh, how do we set up the Python and uh, how do we define variables the basic loop concept of loops concept of if and else concept of variable definition and different type of data types like lists which we generally learned as array in PHP uh, we don't call array in Python but we use a term like dictionaries and uh, lists in Python and we'll be learning about those uh, soon so all of the basic stuff that the programming requi requires like connecting to the database session handling all these stuffs we'll be learning in Python in the first playlist and we'll gradually keep on moving forward with the advanced topics and just to let you know uh, don't take me as an expert in Python. I'm also a beginner and since I said I know other programming languages uh, good enough to start with but I don't call myself expert in any programming languages but still uh, and these days I am uh, uh, trying to cover up the Python as we have a group set up over here and we are working on IoT based projects and machine learnings so I found it uh, a perfect time to learn Python and while I'm learning, I also thought of sharing my, my, my ideas and what I learned with all you guys. So at the same time, you can also learn and start coding in Python. So that was my intention. So in the next video, we'll be talking, talking about how to install Python in various platforms and uh, how do we write our first code of Hello World and other basic stuff like variable definition and uh, uh, other stuffs. So before we end, I just wanted to um, uh, let you know that we have few important links over here that I want to share with you. The first one is the documentation and the main official site of Python itself, which is python.org. So if you go here, you can download the latest Python. You can see the documentation of Python. We have very good community of the Python. You can just browse through these links to understand. We have success stories, and we have news. So this is a this is the best place to start with if you, if you want to start with Python. So what I want you to do is I want you to go to download and download the latest version 3.7.3 as we'll be learning Python in this version. So we have two stable versions right now. We have 3.7 and 2.7 as well. But uh, I want to work with 3.7 right now. So I want you to download Python 3.7. And if you click on download, since I'm in Mac, it's automatically down downloading PKG file. So you can download your own exe file if you are in uh, Windows environment. It will just download as per your operating system. It will just uh, see. And since I have already have installed, I just want to cancel this. I don't want it to install it again. The first thing you can do is just install the Python latest by 3.7.3 into your uh, system. <coughs> so after you have downloaded and installed Python, I want you to download one another software that will be very helpful for you to work with Python which is PyCharm and we actually don't need this we can uh, even uh, work out Python with other IDs but I would suggest you to uh, 
uh, install PyCharm because it deals with many of the stuffs automatically for us like creating projects even creating the virtual environment which we'll be learning about in coming days but I, I want you to go to jetbrains.com official website and search for PyCharm or just you can just search for PyCharm PyCharm in Google and you'll get the link to download PyCharm and uh, since this is a paid version you can just have a trial for a few days but if you download community version it is open source and free to download so I, uh, if, you, if you want to go for professional I have no problem with that but if you don't want to pay right now you can just download the community version and get ready for the development finally I found I just I was I was unaware about it but I found that w3schools.com also has a very good tutorial for Python I'm not sure when did they add but uh, I was just going through the examples here of uh, Python tutorials and I found that it is it has a very comprehensive uh, documentation about various uh, basics of Python so these three links I suggest you to just go through uh, this one to download the Python this one down the PyCharm and if you want to just start with the basics you can just go through these links as well and as, um, so this one okay this was the trend I showed you so that's it for today I will continue tomorrow with the uh, installation of Python if you if you found any problem in the, with the installation we'll do it uh, it in another video and after we have installed we'll also cover some basic uh, beginning of Python so hope to see you guys in another video and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet I request you to subscribe and also share the video if you liked it and like the video if you like it so see you guys in an another video till then have a nice time goodbye